returns for another year of drama, intrigue, beauty and suspense. Football is back. At last. Hi there everyone, Martin Tyler here, with me today Alan Smith as usual, and it is a friendly fixture we have for you. Well, we don't need to build this one up too much, Alan, do it? Speaks for itself, Barcelona and Real Madrid. Yeah, one of the clashes in world football, isn't it? So many stars on both sides, can't wait for this one. It's Cristiano Ronaldo against uh, Lionel Messi. What do you expect from them, Alan? Well, Cristiano Ronaldo, he is all about pace in many ways. He can run as fast as most defenders run faster than the majority. As for Lionel Messi, he is a master of interplay, of making those little one-twos, give-and-goes, and accelerating onto the ball. Well, there's no doubt that the three up front for Barcelona, Messi, Suarez and Neymar, as good as anything I can ever imagined seeing in the successful season 2014-15. I mean, you don't see many three-pronged attacks anyway, but to assemble one of that quality, I certainly can't remember another one quite like it. This is the Real Madrid lineup. Sergio Ramos plays with Pepe in central defence. Karim Benzema is the lone striker today. Offside. Sergio Ramos. Marcelo. Tony Kroos. Modric. Barcelona, 
want to win. And now they'll have to give it their all to get that win. Lionel Messi. It's a real tussle between the two of them. Try and get the ball. Couldn't keep it in play, it's gone out for a throw. Johnny Cross. Cristiano Ronaldo. Attacking now. And out wide, they were in a good position until that defender acted very promptly and decisively. Benzema. And it takes a nick off the player, out for a throw. Modric. Cristiano Ronaldo. Fast to get the throw. Pass, unforced error, really. Tony Cross. Well, what impact in this game we've had hasn't really come from Real Madrid. And just worried now about Cristiano Ronaldo. Time to get the ball in. Gerard Pique. It's a steamy welcome for a player not very much liked in these parts. Well, he saw the guy he could switch the play to and came up with the pass as well. Excellent. He has been pressed there to running the ball out of play. Sergio Ramos. Waiting for that first goal. Your view, Alan Smith, on Cristiano Ronaldo's first half. Boom for improvement, I think you could say, from this lad. Settling back down here in the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium. Pepe. How frustrating is this for the other team trying to get the touch of the ball? Some options now for the pass. 
Rodriguez. Tony Kroos. Terrific tackle. Neymar. Here's a chance. And he's put it away. The goal from Neymar. And he won't have scored too many better than that. He certainly won't have hit too many harder than he did there. Quite a surprise to get a goal, given we've had so few shots. But they're 1-0 up, and now we'll see what that brings. Well, if it continues in this vein, you wouldn't be surprised if that's the winning, the only goal of this match. Now the shot! What a fine save! Saw the goal and went for it. They are still one down, but it shouldn't be the case. No, really, the keeper was exposed, and uh, he was helped an awful lot by the lad who's missed that shot. to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here it's a diagonal ball to switch the play here well it will be a throw in Lionel Messi Luis Suarez and shoots well that is a shock he's missed it he has missed it well coming from a striker of this calibre that's a bit of a collector's item Carvajal On the attack here. Great play from the attacker. Space to try and hit it now. He's kept it out. Corner for Real Madrid. They are behind, but they're pressing on for this equaliser. Messi. Throw in for Real Madrid. Rodriguez. He's got his shot off now. Well, and and it's in the equaliser. for Benzema and you could see that he'd made up his mind as soon as the ball came to him he didn't need a second touch and well the keeper's flat-footed that's a goal well worth analyzing again Level, both sides have scored here now. Iniesta. Out it goes wide to Messi. Oh, and goes across. Well, it is a chance to relieve some of the pressure here by simply having the ball. It's Barcelona's corner. Yeah, always like to see these first-time finishes where the player doesn't try to whack it, and he's placed that to the keeper's left. Neymar. Shot off! They're desperate to try and change this game. It's been level, and now they're... Pushing on, looking for the goal that will take them in front. Well, the Real Madrid supporters expect success, and uh, that'll be no different today. No, they've seen plenty of it down the years, haven't they? And that uh, plays its part with the players. Some can handle it, some can't. Lionel Messi. Good vision to be able to switch the play there. If he had a cap on, he could throw it on the ball. It's that simple for the goalkeeper. Sergio Busquets. 
fantastic game this and it's going to go right down to the wire it's Luis Suarez we've got that wrong it'll be a throw Alvajal Rodriguez Tony Cross. Time coming up, there will be two minutes of it. On towards Messi. It's a wonderful interception. And it's ended in a draw as the final whistle goes. Well, nothing at stake in terms of league points or cup progress today. But a good workout for the team. They've got a draw from it. Yeah, and I think fitness-wise, they would have both benefited. Not the best of football being showed out there, but it just it did lack a slight edge to it. A verdict on Karim Benzema's performance from Alan Smith here. That was an important equalising goal. Didn't have a whole host of chances, but certainly put that one away well. Blocks go, that's a, and it's in the equaliser.
here we are today, Alan Smith and myself, Martin Tyler. We've got a friendly match to describe for you, to commentate on for you, and we're looking forward to that very much indeed. Today's match for you, it's United States and they play Germany. A few countries, Alan, have done more for the women's game than the United States. No, that's true. They've uh, set the standards quite often, ranked number one for quite a long time as well. time for the national anthems. This is how the USA line up. So, Alan, 4-4-2? Four, four, yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the conventional shape. It's the one that the manager prefers. Here's how the German team line up today. Well, more often than not, we're looking at teams that shape up this way, Alan. Yeah, such a popular system. 4-2-3-1. It gives you a lot of stability, and if your front four, as you might describe them, are good players, it's a really potent system. Well, here we are, at the Seattle Sounders have flown the flag, haven't they, for our football in the United States of America? Yeah, it's hosted quite a few big games. The MLS Cup in 2009 and finals for the US Open Cup in a couple of years too. The woman in charge today is near Jokalina. Last, after all the build-up, the game starts. Megan Rapino, Carly Lloyd. Pass one defender. Free kick given. And there's a real uh, discussion now about how to make the most of it. been wasted because it's gone over everyone and out for a throw on the other side. Marisha. Goalkeeper can only parry it out. Shashic. 
Simone Laude. And that could have been an early booking for the offender. I wouldn't have been surprised, but the referee's taken a slightly lenient view, I think. Schmidt and Yamitak. That's very good link up play. Pop! Good try. Pino will certainly be to the fore, you think, in this match. Actually played in a European final for Lyon against Wolfsburg back in 2013. Yeah, and there's another Olympic gold winner. She'll be a threat today. She's a winger, she's quick, loves to get to the byline. Real high quality in the women's game in Germany, Jennifer Marachan, who will certainly catch her eyes today, Alan. Yeah, I mean, she's not, she's not old now by any means, she's only 23, but the youngest ever player to play in the German Bundesliga at just 14 years and seven months. That's a good challenge between the two of them there. Melanie Leupoltz. And that's a turnover to the opposition. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Well back! The goalkeeper plunged to make the save. On the front foot now, they've got a corner, hoping for the... ...put them in the lead. Attacking now. It'll be a throw. Now it's Schmidt. Lloyd Poltz. block in those circumstances turnover there that we didn't expect Mitak got the ball back and the referee says that's a free kick Julie Johnson. That's the way to win the ball back. Marisa. Good stop by the goalkeeper. Well, they're back defending and they've cut the pass out there. And maybe that will ease the pressure. Back it goes to the goalkeeper. Schmidt. Well, that is a cheap piece of play to give the ball away like that. Here's Leupoltz. Well, we're halfway through, and we haven't yet got a goal to bring to you. Nil-nil at half time. We've got two teams here going at it, hammer and tongs, and shot equaling shot. It's level on that count. Yeah, it's not been short on entertainment by any means, so. 
Difficult to call a winner in the second half. Is blown to signal the start of the second half. Laude. Melanie Leupoltz. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. From this position, they can maybe work something more significant in front of goal from the throw. Here's Holiday. One back. Jennifer Marisan. Pop. It's a diagonal ball to switch the play here. That's the way to win the ball back. Holiday. Melanie Leupoltz. Alexandra Pop. Good tackle. Substitute coming up for the away team. Now Laude. That's an easy interception because the pass wasn't really a very thoughtful one. Reading of the by anticipating the pass. Lloyd Poltz. Kemmer. Confident and quality on the ball. That's a good ball, isn't it? Shot on! Too high. Way over the crossbar. Constitution coming up. One back. It could be a chance. Oh, Gibber can only. Well, that should be a penalty. It is. It is going to be an opportunity to go in front if she can take the penalty successfully. Yeah, big moment and a question of nerve. A time to hold it. Everybody expecting that one to find the back of the net. What a glorious opportunity wasted. That's what can happen, Alan, when you put too much on it. It flew over the bar. Well, I think we're talking about a loss of nerve as much as anything else. Never look confident running up to the ball and smashing it over.
here comes the support. The offside is given. Switch the play. For Sashic. Attacking now. Oh, in goes across. Threaten the goal then. As it is, the goalkeeper has a simple possession. Referee blows to end the 90 minutes. With some danger to the opposition, now they're here. One back! The goalkeeper plunged to make the save. Well, that's what substitutes are for to be used. We've got one coming on now. We've got the golden goal rule in operation today as we go into the first half of extra time. Good contest between these two as they jostle for possession. Want to keep the opposition penned back. This throw can help do that. Here's Kemma. The score! Oh, there was the game. Remember, we've got the golden goal rule in place here. And that would have been the golden goal. Well, I think in any other circumstance, she should have took that one away. But because it was the golden goal, it's affected her. Julie Johnson. to get the ball out of the danger zone. Well, we've got a substitution now.
Morgan. That's the goal! And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. First period of extra time is over. 15 minutes still to go. And the possibility of penalties. No golden goal in the first half of extra time. Will we get one in the second half, which is underway? And you meet Jack. Here they come. They've sensed the chance to win it now. Eye catching football, really. It just got to a stage where they actually took the eye off the ball, literally, and they've lost the ball. Let's see what the ref's going to do. Morgan. Roy Poltz. Well, they've got the ball, let's see what they can do with it. It's with Heath. Attack. Some options now for the pass. Shot on! Goalkeeper hangs on. <laughs> Spotted uh, loud air. Well, it's going to be decided here in the end by penalties. It's going to be the first penalty now. And the penalty is off target. Well, nobody likes to see a player miss under those circumstances. Well, she doesn't approach this with a great deal of confidence. Oh, what a poor penalty straight at the goalkeeper. I think she fooled the goalkeeper, but she fooled herself and put it wide. Yeah, fair play to the keeper, she wasn't put off by that little stutter. She must have expected the goalkeeper to dive it straight at the keeper. The keeper didn't dive, won the battle of wits, made the save. Well, here she goes, and well, she is radiating nervousness, and the goalkeeper must be aware of this. Oh, that's a poor penalty. Well, I think it'll be a while before she takes another one, because that lacked any kind of self-belief. I have to say, I've seen more confident players approaching the penalty. She's trying to be cheeky, and now she's embarrassed. Oh, it's head in hands time. If they come off, it's brilliant, but... Oh, wrong decision from her. She's gone for the chip. And unfortunately, when it doesn't pay off, it does look very weak. Oh dear, oh dear, I think the manager might have a few words to say about that. 
beat the goalkeeper well in this penalty shootout. Well, this is the decisive moment so far in this shootout. The match is on the line. She has to score. She's missed! Goal number one, try and hit the target, try and work the keeper. Unfortunately, she couldn't manage that. As for the finale, well, it came by the golden goal rule, Alan. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. Decided. Uh, the winning team here aren't having any complaints, are they? Well, that was something special, a golden goal finale. Alan Smith and Martin Tyler, we've been with you for all that excitement. We'll be with you next time as well. Goodbye for now. with some danger to the opposition now they're here. One back! The goalkeeper plunged to make the save. Try and hit the target, try and work the keeper. Unfortunately, she couldn't manage that.